Well, welcome back, everyone. Temperatures today only climbed up into the 30s in most locations. 35 was the high in Carthage. In Meridian, it was 36 and 38 degrees in Laurel. Just a tad warmer in Jackson at 40 degrees. Of course, with those temperatures near the freezing mark, it definitely sustained the snowfall that fell through much of the day. So here's a look at the snowfall totals. This is actually official uh, numbers that we had from the National Weather Service. So about seven inches reported in Quitman. In Bay Springs, seven inches as well. Enterprise also seven inches. In Meridian, we did pick up about six inches officially at the airport. It was about five inches, and that is a record for today in Decatur, around 3.5 inches. So as you can see, a lot of us picked up about three to seven inches across the area. Enough snow to build snowmen or just really enjoy sledding or any of that stuff this uh, afternoon. But as we make our way into the overnight, any moisture that remains across the area will turn into ice or is already turning into ice as uh, we progress into the overnight. We're going to see most of the snow move away from our area. Looks like uh, there's still some warm air that's trying to move in. But overall, I think as we start to cool down, all of this will be snow, but it's pushing off to the east, so we don't have to deal with it. I don't think any longer, maybe just a few flurries, but that's pretty much it. What we're going to be concerned about are those slick roads and icy roads as we make our way into early tomorrow morning. But notice most of the snow, our future radar is showing it's pushing off well to the east and it will stay well to the east uh, for much of tonight and into tomorrow. So slowly moving away. I don't think we're going to see any activity. Maybe again, just a flurry or two, but uh, nothing of what we saw earlier today. As we make our way into the weekend, we're going to see plenty of sunshine, but it's going to be pretty chilly out there as north winds transport that cold air into our area. But as high pressure starts to move to the east, it's going to bring milder conditions for late in the weekend and into early next week. So things will start to improve. So here's a look at what you can expect. Mostly sunny tomorrow. It will be breezy at times and it will be chilly. And then as we make our way into the early part of the week, lots of sunshine returning and temperatures will start to rebound. But there's another shot of cool air that will head our way toward the middle part of next week. And that will keep things cool. At least it won't allow those temperatures to really warm up for the next seven days. But here's a look at your forecast tonight. It will be cold. Temperatures well below freezing, about 10 degrees below freezing. So 22. For the overnight low in Meridian and Newton, 21 degrees in Union around 20, mainly clear. It will be cold again. Any moisture, any uh, rain or any flurries that fall on the road, we are going to see it turn into ice or stay as ice through the early morning hours tomorrow. It will be better than today, but it's going to be chilly out there. 49 degrees for the high in Meridian, Newton about 48, Collinsville about 48, mostly sunny. So I think with those temperatures, the snow is going to melt. So your snowman is going to have to go away for a while. By Sunday, 51 degrees. And if the snow hasn't melted, definitely going to be melting by early next week as temperatures warm up to around 61 degrees. Plenty of sunshine through the middle part of the week, but temperatures will be a tad cooler. We drop down to around 24 degrees early on Wednesday and only warming up to around 51 and then close to that 60 degree mark by the end of the week. A little bit more cloud cover, maybe a shower or two on Friday, but Overall, it's going to be falling again like mm. rain and not as frozen precipitation because it's going to be too warm for that. Got to have a chat with old Frosty about his limited time. Well, exactly. Frosty's out of here. Right. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> Thanks, Kim.